What is it that's so special about the Bhagavad that makes it interesting for people today? I'm Kenneth Falke, a research fellow of the Oxford Center for Hindu Studies. I've come to Chennai to explore the living tradition of the Srimad Bhagavata Purana, an ancient text of India. And, and for the West, it's sort of a refreshing book. It's a new angle on things. Hmm. Yeah, the Ved Vedic perspective is more than education. Life is more like a spiral. The sun comes up, the sun goes down. You meet people again and again, but each time higher, higher, higher. Hence the term liberation, to be free from the cycle of birth and death. Samsara. Samsara. Uh, here we are in the background, Vaikuntha Parumal Temple. Uh, one of Vishnu's names is Vaikuntha, but also his abode uh, is known as Vaikuntha, a place with no worry, no problems, and a place no one would really want to leave. Krishna it resides in a transcendent domain, the transcendent Raja, where he revels eternally in his own blissful nature. So whether or not there's a world... The soul is eternal, the self is eternal, and it can be liberated into eternal, the most beautiful, playful, and delightful realms. And to attain that goodness, you have to be good. It's everyone that's taken it and done something with it. Uh, every class of person. So we really have to study it to understand Indian culture and Indian thought in the modern world. Here we are to enter into the world of the Bhagavata, the Bhagavata Purana.